Hey everyone, I'm Ashley with Lightspeed and today we're going to be creating a work order together. The first thing we're going to do is head over to the Service tab over here on the left menu. We're going to select that and then we're going to choose the New Work Order option from the menu here. At this point we can either search for a customer that's currently in our database, maybe they've already shopped at our retail store or had something repaired at our repair department, or we can create a new customer. Now we have Brenda here who wants our shoes repaired, so we're going to search for her. She shows up as a possible match on the right and we'll select her and she'll be added to our current work order. The first thing you might notice is this open status here on the left and if we select the status drop down we're able to see all the preset statuses that the system has for us. It's important to note we can also create custom statuses to best represent your workflow of your service department. Now the next thing we're going to do is put a description in of what we're having repaired today. So she's having her Converse running shoes repaired and she'd like them to be resold. So the first thing we'd like to do is put in the date that the shoes are going in, which is today's date at 10 a.m. We've told Brenda that she has to wait about three days to have her shoes repaired, so we'll put in the 27th and we'll do an even 9 a.m. Now the next thing we want to do is put in a little note that not only does she want her shoes resold, but she'd also like them to be buffed. Now we could search for a particular item in our inventory, but in this case she's bringing in some old running shoes she'd like resold, so we're just going to add a labor charge here. And we'd like to state that it's a resoling. It's going to take us about an hour, and it's going to be at a charge of $40. We can associate a discount. We could also attribute an employee to this particular line item, so Will is going to be doing this. Now it's also important to note that we can have various line items in one work order that are associated to different employees. So if many people are working on this work order, we can have a different employee working on the different task. We're going to save this here. And we notice that the total charge is $40. We haven't yet added the buffing charge, so we'll go ahead and select this buffing button. Now this isn't a button that's natively in Lightspeed. We've actually created this button custom for this repair. So in this case, our repair departments, we often offer buffing, so we'd like to have this be a quick button here. So we're going to select buffing, which quickly adds a $5 charge to the work order. You see that the total is $45.80, and at this point we can ensure that it isn't under warranty. So if her running shoes were under warranty, we'd be able to select this little option here, which removes the total charge. But unfortunately, Brenda's running shoes are not under warranty, so we'll deselect that and the total returns to $45.80. At this point, we could go to the checkout and actually charge her for that service. We could send it as an email. We could print it as a quote. And what we definitely want to do is print a tag out so that we can easily find her running shoes when she comes back to pick them up. So we're going to go ahead and select print tag. This brings us into a work order tag which identifies her work order as number 640. Her customer name, the information of the work order and the labor that's being done is all listed here including the notes and as you can see a barcode. This barcode will help us to identify where it is in our back room when she comes to pick up her item. So that's a work order and thanks so much for listening. If you'd like more information on work orders please visit our video library.